if you had to define Walnut Creek, it would be that they are the place for the lonely because I don't think there's a stranger there. You might be a stranger when you walk in the door. You're not a stranger when you walk out. And I've really, truly experienced that. It started coming in November. We found people at Walnut Creek uh, love Jesus and uh, have a passion for worship and they care about people, relationships. This church has shown me what Christianity is really about and uh, that I have such a big family now. When I come to church in the morning, um, I long to be here. I feel uh, re-energized. So um, it's, it's finding a family, um, yeah. When my wife and I first came to Columbus, we were looking for a church. My brother came here, so we came. And what we found was loving and supportive people. Um, it's great for our kids, and we love it here. The thing that got me interested and why I came back is because it is the balance of grace and truth, which is, you know, John, Jesus came full of grace and truth. And so Steve is always preaching the biblical doctrine of grace in Jesus Christ with all the, the mercy. And it's all biblical in terms of telling the truth, speaking the truth in love, rather than just sliding over things or not giving the hard parts like election, uh, like judgment and so forth. So that's why I stayed. And that's why I'm happy. I think we can all be honest with ourselves and honest with who we are and with each other. Um, that's part of you know the gospel. We are sinners and we all have flaws and and we can accept each other for with those flaws and um, be compassionate to each other and understanding. Um, so whereas other places you've had to pretend that you're not that way. You don't have these skeletons in your closet or whatever. And, you don't have these things that you're struggling with, but here you, you do, and we all do, and we all know it. So it's, it's, it's comforting to be at a place where you can be who you are. My identity is like not in my grades, not in my friends, not if I'm popular. It's not about like if I get an A on a test or if I get an F on a test, it, my identity is in Christ. And I think Justin and like John, my two youth pastors I've had over a couple of years have really helped me understand that and that my identity is in Christ and not like being popular, like having the most friends at school or like being picked last for a game or being picked first for a game or anything like that. We say that Walnut Creek is a church without pretense and I believe that's more than just a saying. I believe that really we are a church where people can be authentic and be who we are in Christ. Walnut Creek is a community uh, where you know, we love each other well. We have our sins and struggles like everyone else, and but you know, all in all, it's, it's a community of people who love the Lord and love each other. I saw my sister Hannah, and she was becoming a member, and I said, well, when I was young, I thought everybody could have the bread and dip it in the juice, and I, once Hannah did it, I said, well, I'm the only person in my family who ha doesn't do that, so I might as well just join the fun. First minute I heard Steve, I knew he was my pastor. So here I am, a believing church, a caring church. People really care about you, and they love you. From the get-go, I mean, one of the things that was just like a, a you know, stone that I just would lay my life on was the gospel. And so it was like, what I always want is to make sure each and every week, some way, some form within the church service, we preach the gospel, we preach the truth because the power of the gospel is life. And so Steve and anyone that's ever come in leadership, anyone that's come on staff, anyone that's done it is always, it, that passion has always been there. And that is just what has always rocked my world for this place. I feel that the people uh, care and uh, are caring people. And uh, you do get the word, he will point you to Jesus. And the one thing I like too is uh, call different ones and they pray for you, you know, if you had a need. And there is a care and a concern there, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with our little group of ladies. 
place is my family. It's my solid rock foundation family. I can't imagine going anywhere else. Um, I feel like I have multiple sets of parents here. I have brothers, sisters, friends. Um, it's just my home. And our experience here has been, uh, when we first got here, we, I think you can agree, we, we liked the Pastor Rush's no condemnation <laughs> right out of the gate. We felt so totally accepted on our first day. We still, still feel so totally accepted four years later and uh, feel that we can accept others as well. And uh, we've grown in the Word and what we've learned. And uh, it has been a tremendous journey that this is just the beginning of the journey. Everybody made fun of us because when we got here, we got the stomach virus like one after another after another. And we were sick for probably like six months straight. And we had people come over and bring food and watch our kids while we were throwing up upstairs. <laughs> so it's just very, you know, ushering us into Walnut Creek by vomit, by fire, by flood. <laughs> and so um, it was just precious to be a part of a group of people that accepted us immediately on family terms and literally cleaned up our mess <laughs> and loved us. And that's basically been kind of the theme for us this whole time. It's people accept us as we are and love us as we are, love our kids um, as they are. That's been my kids, um, as we've been talking to them about what do you love about Quanah Creek, they both have said, people like me here. <laughs> and so there's just this joy of being in a place where people love you and accept you and are willing to walk alongside of you no matter how messy you are. Coming from the South, there's always pretense. You know, you, you show only so much, but you keep up your good face, right? <laughs> so, but here it's like, hey, we know who we are. God loves us. Uh, he, is, he, is, he has washed us of all the, the filth and made us new. So that's what's been meaningful to me here. The relationships that we have in this church are genuine. They're, uh, they're not... We don't contrive anything. There's nothing thought up ahead of time. You know, we you can't, we we live with our hearts. We really do. We we act like we love each other because we do love each other, and it's all because of Christ. It's, it's nothing special about us. We're just trying to live out the gospel, and that's what we hopefully do. Um, I like that there are people here that love and care for me. When I'm sad, they comfort me. When I am alone or lonely, they come and talk to me and stuff like that. When I'm um, here, I learn so much and like it feels like a family to me and like and then I have all these like great friends here. Thank you, Walnut Creek, for being a church full of grace. You've really made a difference in my life. I've been here 16 years and I have learned a lot about sanctification. And I came from a background that um, was more of a works-based situation. And I learned that the gospel is for today and not just the starting gate. So I appreciate being here. Pastor Steve, thank you for all that you've done. I've been here for like seven years now. So throughout the whole time, like going to Sunday school, I've been presented like facts about the Bible really well. Like I can, I know the Bible and I know a lot about the Bible, but I also know a lot about grace. And I think that that's been taught here better than any other place I've been, like teaching me facts about the Bible and that I can go through the Bible, you know, Bible drills, but also teaching me like how much God loves me and how big that grace is. The main expectation I have for church in general is that the gospel is preached, is that they're faithful to the word and that they care and show that care through the love of others. And so, you know, coming from the church I used to go to uh, when I was in Indiana, where I served as a deacon, and coming here, that was my only expectation, to see that the people of God were being the people of God. And being at Walnut Creek, you see it. You see it very clearly between Pastor Steve or Pastor Justin preaching faithfully the text, between people walking up and caring for each other, whether they are infirm or ill or whatever it might be. They they do a really, really good job. And being able to see that, being open about that, and sharing openly about their struggles and their woes and, and the sorrows that infiltrate their lives, they, they don't hide it. Another challenge I've had in my Christian walk is um, trying to be other people's saviors instead of being an arrow. 
And what's been beautiful to me here is so many people are being arrows pointing to Jesus, pointing to Jesus. And so I'm learning more about how to be that arrow and point others to him.